Birmingham's National Indoor Arena, home to some of the hottest action in athletics. This is where the stars of the track come to strut their stuff. Quite enough of that. Donovan Bailey, Carl Lewis, Linford Christie, all these top-class careers began at precisely the same place. The starting blocks. Five. A sprinter's ability to get off the starting blocks as explosively as possible can make all the difference between success and failure. Over the years, technological advances in athletics has led to faster running surfaces, computer-designed shoes, and more effective training methods. But the one crucial thing that sprinters rely on for a fast start has hardly changed at all over the decades. Athletes still have to make do with pretty crude blocks that can only be adjusted centimetre by centimetre, whereas an athlete's natural start could be absolutely anywhere along the block. So now a young up-and-coming sprinter has decided to do something about it with these. Meet 18-year-old David Middleton. Now, what made you think that traditional starting blocks needed redesigning in the first place? Well, as I'm a sprinter myself, and I use starting blocks all the time, and I could start to feel when I was sprinting away that there was something needed to change. Well, here they are. What are the differences? The main radical change is the movement of the two foot blocks where the athlete's foot goes. So an athlete can have actually any movement that he wants, millimeter to millimeter. So, for the first time, athletes can position their blocks with pinpoint accuracy and lock them securely into place. Oh, and unlike the old blocks, they fold in half, so they fit easily into your kit bag. Well, they look the part to me, but let's give them to a professional to test. As I settle into the blocks, I always think about reacting to the gun. If you have a good start, it puts pressure on the other part of the field. Most of the time, I adjust my blocks using a tape measure. Totally adjustable blocks uh, would be perfect for me. That means I can take them all over the world and they'd be accurate all the time. OK, Colin, so you've set them up. What do you think so far? Well, I feel comfortable. guess it's all in the testing. It is. Are you ready? Yeah. OK, on your marks. Box. Get set. Ah, excellent stuff. Thanks, Colin. You tested them out pretty thoroughly there, so what's your honest opinion? Don't worry that David's standing here. What do you really think? <coughs> well, I think at the prototype stage, they're a very good, comfortable set of blocks, first of all. Um, the little adjustments that I have might be a bit personal. Um, I think we need them a little bit longer yeah. because, um, you know, some people's yeah. spans are completely different. But the grips are track well, and they're very light, so that makes it a big plus for us, too. Okay, so, so, so far, so good. Pluses and minuses, what do you think of that, David? Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, very fair. <laughs> So the next step for David's blocks, after he's incorporated Colin's suggestions, of course, is to go into production. And after that, well, we could one day see them being used to help break world records. Speaking of which... Oh, never mind, at least he got the bronze.